Hey, Joe Alden, MD here. And I'm Amy Alden, ARNP. Our focus is disaster, epidemics, and first aid preparedness. We want you to know what to do in situations where medical help may not be available for the short term or even the long haul. One of the ways we offer this information is through our videos. If you like our videos, we hope you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 900 posts, videos, and podcasts, 900, wow, on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we are the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of the Survival Medicine Handbook, the Zika Virus Handbook, and other books, plus the designers of the awesome board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, named by the Prepared Family Blog as the Teaching Preparedness Resource of the Week. Over the years, we've often written about disaster situations that we've personally experienced. We've been through hurricanes, we've been through tornadoes, that's just to mention a few, and recently our home in Gatlinburg, Tennessee was threatened by the wildfires there, which killed 14 and wiped out more than 1,700 buildings, over 100 of them on the very mountain where the house is located. Now, we've written about a number of medical issues that we've experienced as well. For example, I converted to positive for tuberculosis during my work with Cuban refugees during the 1980 Mario boat lift. I still carry a small walled off nodule on x-ray as a souvenir. Now on a recent trip to New York City to visit our daughter, we both experienced a medical issue so common that it surprised us that we hadn't yet written about it. Acute gastroenteritis or the stomach flu. When this infection hits you, it makes even the healthiest individual miserable. Believe me, as they say. Nurse Amy, as a matter of fact, required an urgent care visit. No small issue in a strange and heavily populated city. She was just one of nearly 2 million outpatient visits caused by acute gastroenteritis in the United States every year. Norovirus is the most common cause of viral gastroenteritis in humans. It was originally called Norwalk virus after the area where it was first identified in the 1960s. Since then, it's been blamed for 50% of all gastroenteritis in the United States. Worldwide, there are more than 200 million cases of norovirus infection every year. It affects people of all ages, but it's particularly dangerous in the elderly, the very young, and those with weakened immune systems. Winter, interestingly enough, is the most common time for outbreaks. Norovirus is very contagious. Just 5 to 20 viral particles can cause you to get sick. It's easily transmitted through contaminated food or water, close personal contact, and by air droplets from vomit, contaminated food containers, gosh, even toilet flushes. Infection can be passed from person to person for a time before symptoms occur and even after apparent recovery. Now here's how contagious the norovirus is. In one outbreak reported in 1998, 126 people were dining at a restaurant when one person vomited onto the floor. Despite a rapid cleanup, 52 people became ill within three days. More than 90% of the people who later dined at the same table reported symptoms. More than 70% at a nearby table got sick, and at a table at the other side of the restaurant, the rate was still 25%. Wow. Well, norovirus is not only very contagious, but it is a hardy microbe, and it is known to survive for long periods outside a human host. It can live for weeks on countertops and up to 12 days on your clothes. It can survive for months in still water. However, disinfectants containing chlorine, like household bleach, will quickly eliminate it, as will sufficient heat. The symptoms of the stomach flu include nausea and vomiting, watery diarrhea, and sometimes severe abdominal pain, usually within 12 to 48 hours of exposure. Along with this, muscle aches, headache, and fever can be seen. Now, life-threatening illness is rare, luckily, with dehydration being the main danger in those infected with the virus. Unlike some viruses that you become immune to after recovering, immunity to norovirus is only temporary, maybe six months after recovery. Outbreaks of norovirus infection often occur in closed spaces, such as cruise ships, who you probably have read about some norovirus infectious outbreaks there, nursing homes, schools, camps, even prisons. Shellfish, such as oysters, and salad ingredients are the foods most often implicated in these outbreaks. Now, in our case, it might have been a kiosk advertising 
the world's best hot dogs on Times Square. Oh boy. Now, as is the case with most viruses, there is no cure for norovirus infection. Antibiotics will not be effective as they are meant to kill bacteria, not viruses. Treatment involves staying well hydrated and you have to know the signs of dehydration. Dehydration could be noted by these symptoms, dry mouth, a decrease in quantity of the urine, a dark color of the urine, dizziness when you stand up, a decreased elasticity of the skin, it tents when you pull it, and no tears when crying or unusual irritability in infants, and others. Now, using antidiarrheal meds like loperamide, modium, and anti-vomiting drugs like ondacentrone, Zofran, may also help. A cure may not be available, but prevention is another issue. To decrease the chance of norovirus infection, wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Norovirus is relatively resistant to alcohol. And you have to do that, especially after using the restroom or handling food. Be especially sure to do this for up to two weeks after becoming infected. Yes, you can be contagious for that long. Wash food before cooking, cook shellfish thoroughly, Frequently disinfect contaminated surfaces with a bleach sol solution. The EPA recommends 5 to 25 drops of bleach per gallon. And keep sick individuals away from food preparation areas. Now, of course, avoid close contact with others when you're sick and don't share utensils or other items. That's very important. If you are going to handle soiled items of people that are sick, wear disposable gloves and immediately remove and wash clothes that may be contaminated with vomit or feces. Machine dry them if possible on hot. Now, it may be difficult to completely eliminate the risk of norovirus infection, but careful attention to hand and food hygiene will go a long way towards avoiding the stomach flu. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health and good times or bad. Thanks for watching. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, make an old man, me that is, very happy by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Dr. Bones Nurse Amy, following us on Twitter at Prepper Show, and joining our Facebook group pages at Doom and Bloom or Survival Medicine Dr. Bones Nurse Amy. And don't forget, Nurse Amy's entire line of medical kits are at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. Fill those holes in your medical storage. Thanks again.